Hello everyone and welcome to another GSAP tutorial because you guys love them so much <laughs> and I've been experimenting with a few things or more interesting things lately and since I will be working probably on some interior design architectural websites I decided to test a few let's say ways in which we can present galleries images projects of that sort in a more interesting way not a usual boring static way that some architectural websites are so this is one of them with what you will see in this video and I think it's quite interesting so um, let's get started as you can see we have a simple page here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be adding a container and the only thing I'm gonna do is set this container to, co to be content width full width and that's it nothing else I'm gonna publish and now we're going to be adding 14 images in this container you heard right and there's a reason for this and you will see and I'll explain for now I will add 14 images and I'll be back All right, I have added all the images that we needed and as you can see, they are all weirdly on top of each other, but we're going to fix that. So I'm going to set this container to have an overflow hidden because this is very important. Otherwise, once the images start to spread on the page, the layout is going to shift and that is not good for a website. So keep that in mind. At the bottom of the page, I'm going to add an HTML element widget and I'm going to add my code in here. So this is the code that we're working with. I'm going to just delete this part because we do not need it. And now let's get to um, kind of going through the code and explaining what we need to do and what we can change in order for these things to be a little more flexible. As you remember, I said that we need 14 images. And as you can see here, we have an array and this array contains 14 objects. And these 14 objects are basically the, the positions of each image. Each object corresponds to one image on this gallery. So as you can see, we have, we have the first image with the top position of zero and left zero. So basically the image will be here somewhere and so on and so on. Pretty simple, right? If you want to add more images, although I don't necessarily recommend it because it's going to clutter the gallery, it's going to look weird, not very aesthetic. But if you really want to do that, you can do this. Basically, copy one of these objects, add it at the top, at the bottom. But right now, as you can see, the last, the pre-last position and the last position is the same. So these two images will have the same position. That means that you will see uh, only one image on the page and that is this image because this is the first image and it's going to be basically like this and behind it we're going to have another image which is the last one if you don't want to have to have that happening basically let's say we bring it a little bit up or down left or right you will change the numbers here the percentage so instead of let's say top 80 we could say 40 and then left we could say 30. That would shift the image in a different position on uh, our gallery. So keep that in mind. I'm going to delete it right now because I don't need it, but you know what to do. Let's have a look a little bit here. As you can see, we have this uh, Elementor class here. This is the Elementor widget image class that Elementor provides us with. And this should not change. This is the class for each image and we leave it the way it is. So we have it here, here, here and here. So basically it's kind of everywhere. All right, so let's let's save this and let's go to see what is going to happen. Um, yeah, and I think pretty cool is, I mean, it's kind of working, but in a weird way. As you can see, images are kind of like on two sizes of desktop instead of being on one 
on the viewport so we need to do some changes here but first let's go to our first uh, container and i'm going to give this container a class and it's going to be called gallery i'm gonna add a little bit of css in here and as you can see all the images basically have been stacked in that corner at the top but do not be afraid because as you know javascript does not in, uh, run in the editor it only runs on preview so let's publish and let's have a look. Voila! Is this nice or is this nice? And as you can see, the image is basically, as I said, imagine this image is top zero and uh, left zero. And then we have space between. And then we have a second image, which is top zero and left 10%. I think that was it, right? Let's have a look in the code yeah so let's reload this and we can see better this is weird because now it's playing in the editor but okay let's see which image is which image is which so as i said that the first image is our first object position here and then the second is the second and so on so on so you basically have to click on each image as you know <laughs> and the, the the image will be uh, highlighted on your uh, viewport if you want for these images to have a width and a height uh different than what you saw before you will change it here so at the moment that the the animation loads and the images burst yeah that is the size here so basically we can change this to 150 and then this will be 300 let's say and you will see now that that changes it's a bit weird but yeah we could even make it let's say 650 this is going to be really big and 500 still very cool right if you want to go for a little bit more of a dramatic look for it all right and you can play with this if you want i also reduce the delay basically this can be changed here let's say we change the delay to 1.5 as well let's reduce the scale to 0.5 and let's see what happens That delay is a little bit too much and I think even 0.5 is too much. We could even go to, let's say, 3, yeah? And it's quite fast to load. So this is where you would change that kind of reaction. All right, so as you can see, uh, the scale is a little bit, honestly, not satisfactory to my opinion. In my opinion, let's say if we say 2.5, what happens? <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit too big. I think I'm going to stick with 1.5. Let's have a look. And then we just change the size back to 300. Whoops, not 30. 300 and 400. Okay. And the delay to 5. So you know uh, where you can change this kind, this, let's say, settings <laughs> for the burst of the images. That's where you do it. And then the actual size of the image on our gallery. Yes, you change it from here. So I would say you could uh, increment it by 25. So let's say 150 in this case and 175. I tested this a little bit, I played around with it, and I think the previous, um, no, actually this is nice as well. So you can play a little bit with these values to see what works for your project. So again, you know where to change this. Also, these uh, values here can be changed obviously as well. And these are the values of the images uh, being in the center of the page. So if I say, let's say, 15 let's see what happens all right stop 
still interesting but i think it's a little bit more interesting if you have the images sitting in the center and as you can see you cannot click on the images but don't let that stop you because it's pretty easy to do all right as you can see we have this option under content it's called link and uh it right now it's set to none if we go to set it to media file we have the option to turn on the light box uh, to yes or to no if you turn it to yes then this will happen and if you don't know what light box is this will happen if you click on it so let's see this was the image as you can see if you hover over it, it will show you that it's clickable and this is it you can see the image better which we all want right <laughs> what i don't like about this and i'm trying to figure out or i'm thinking to try to figure out how to do it basically make sure that you go through each image by going left or right on your keyboard because this is so last year just clicking on the images or off and on and I don't like it but that's just me also if you want for each of these images to be a custom uh, url basically to lead to the page of the project for example and very easy to do you simply switch the link to a custom url and go and look for an internal link if that's what you're going for and look for it here as simple as that i have a problem this gallery interacts with the navbar and i do not know how to fix that yet i'm thinking about it so basically when the gallery loads the navbar as well um kind of expands and once the images have spread on the canva the navbar goes to normal so i don't know what the issue is could be something in elementor that i cannot figure out how to turn off not to interact with this app obviously so what i wanted to say is that you could use this as a preloader where you would have here something coming up like enter now showing you for example to this beautiful <laughs> I can hear that you cannot see but something visible obviously where you could say enter here and you would have the menu right here I don't know I'm just speedballing here if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor watch this playlist here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time